Father, why do we have candles in church? I mean, we have lights, we, we don't need them. So why do we have candles? Well, the short answer is that candles teach us what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to live. My name's Father Bryce and we're at St. Genevieve in Thibodeau today. What does a candle do? What can the candle teach you and teach me? Well, a candle, first of all, gives light. In the darkest of rooms, in the darkest of places, light just one candle and something changes. From across a pitch black warehouse in the middle of the night, just one candle, you can see it. You can follow the light can find your way home. A candle gives light. And Jesus says to you and to me in Matthew chapter five, you are the light of the world. You don't take a candle and set it under a basket, but you take a candle or a lamp and you put it on a stand so that it can give light to the whole house. A candle teaches you and teaches me that we are man to be the light of the world. Then in the midst of the darkness, you and I are supposed to stand and to shine the light to others, to everyone we meet. And it's not our light, it's His light. It's Jesus' light. And so every year on the vigil of Easter, the Paschal Vigil, we all go outside and we bless the Easter fire. And then from the Easter fire, we light this gigantic candle, the Paschal candle, the Easter candle. And that giant candle represents Christ, whose light shines to the whole world as he is consumed on Good Friday to give light to all of us. And as we come into the church, we all have little candles. And from the light of Christ, or from the light of the big candle, which represents Christ. Our little candles are lit. The candle represents us as we are called to give light to the world. And how? How does the candle give light? The candle is, is made out of wax and the candle gives light as the wax burns, as the wax melts. And slowly and slowly and slowly, the candle gives of itself and is consumed. The light shines forth to the world and the candle decreases. Didn't John the Baptist say the same thing? He must increase. Jesus must increase. And I must decrease. In losing myself, I will be found. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. In giving and in giving, you know this because you do it. In giving and in giving, I find joy, I find fulfillment, I find happiness as I bring that light to the world. So as we come to church on Sunday and we see the candles next to the altar, might we remember our sacrifice for the light of the world? As we come to church, maybe on Sunday or maybe during the week to light a candle, to pray for someone. Might we remember our light, Jesus' light that burns in us for the world. Might we take after the example of the candle and faithfully give ourselves to Christ. That in the midst of the darkness of the world, in the midst of the difficulties, that we might be just one light guiding people to heaven. Just one light in the midst of the great darkness that some other person can follow to the peace that they crave, to the freedom from their addictions, to the joy in their sadness. Lord Jesus, we ask you, please, from your big light, make us little lights. Make us like these candles, standing fast with your light like stars shining in the darkness of the night. Amen.